what's going on? I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. I had one of the best Mother's Days I've had in a really long time. And that's not to say I haven't had other good Mother's Days. I have. I've had my mother over, Teresa's mother, get together. We've done this uh, at least two or three times, four times maybe, uh, since me and Teresa have been married because Teresa's mother's birthday falls on Mother's Day was today. And um, so, and then Mother's Day, uh, my mom celebrates, of course. And then Father's Day is my mom's birthday. Her birthday usually falls around Father's Day. So, uh, anyway, we had both our mothers over today. And, uh... Man, that was that was a lot of fun. We had tacos, uh, so we <laughs> we had uh, soft tacos, blue corn shell tacos, lime taco shells, and uh, regular standard stuff taco shells, and black beans and rice. And uh, my wife made the most amazing chocolate cake with a broiler icing. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, don't know if she took any pictures. I'll have to get sis. She took some pictures of the cake. I did not even think to take a picture of the cake. I feel so dumb. Anyway, I we did take some pictures of me and my wife, my beautiful wife, Teresa, and uh, my mother and her mother. Um, so I'm going to show you those pictures real quick so you can see what uh, me and Teresa with our moms uh, today at uh, our house on... Um, Mother's Day. Check this out. So that's <laughs> my phone shaking. So that's uh, my mom and my wife and my wonderful mother-in-law. Um, I tell you, man, if you are fortunate enough to find the woman that you truly love, that you have this soul connection with, and you just in joy being around her and you miss her like crazy when you're not around her that's how I feel about my wife I love her I just don't know if I could have found anybody more of a perfect match for me and we were talking about it last night in bed about um, I was born at the beginning of the 70s and she was born at the end of the 70s so <laughs> I'm up here and she's down here 70 and 79 so we both we got uh, the 70s covered from beginning to end. But uh, she is an amazing woman, very smart, very, very smart. Um, has a master's degree. She's really intelligent. She has a great job, very, um, very important job, very, uh, I don't want to go into too many details about it because it's kind of a government foundation kind of job. It's kind of something I probably shouldn't talk about a lot but anyway um, it's a job she's worked hard to get to at this point in her life um, and um, her mother also has a very important job with the state of Florida I won't say exactly what it is but I'll say this if you're a lawyer you had to talk to her before you became before you were made a lawyer in the state of Florida. I'll put it that way. So, uh, she has a great job, too. And my mom's uh, retired. She uh, used to make drapes. And she's done so many things in her life. It's amazing. Uh, she's had a hard life. Uh, growing up in the rural south. Um, with parents that didn't have a lot of money. Not a lot of means. Um, you know, so she's finally reached a point in her life where you know her and my dad they have an RV and they can travel and uh, just enjoy the retirement you know and um, so I hope to be like that someday with uh, Teresa we can just travel and enjoy uh, each other's company like we do now and the best part about being married and I know people aren't going to by now half of y'all have already clicked off this video because you don't care about stuff like this but I, I want to say it because it feels good to say it out loud and get it off your chest and just you know share it with everybody because this is something worth sharing you fall in love with someone and you have no control over 
who their mother is, who their father is, who their brothers and cousins and aunts and uncles and all these people are. You just have to learn to deal with them, you know, or either you have to, or one way or the other. That's not the case with me. <laughs> Teresa's family is amazing. I, her brother, both of them, she's got two brothers, both I love like my own brother. I We get along so great and we have a good time together when we're together and everything. And actually, I encourage her just to go and hang out with her more than uh, my wife does. And because um, I just love hanging out with them, you know. Um, they're both younger than me. And, uh, but they're just, they're, they're amazing, you know. And uh, my mother in law is the same way. I love spending time with her. And, um, She's just, she, like I said, she's an amazing woman, and I enjoy her company so much, talking and, and everything. And every one of Teresa's aunts and uncles are like, it's like I grew up with them. You know, we feel that, I feel that kind of closeness to them. Cousins and everything the same way. When we get together at the holidays, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And it, like today, we had my mom and dad, and we had Teresa's mom and stepdad, and we had um, her two brothers, all these in-laws together, you know, and it was like a big family, you know. It was like we was brought all around each other most of our lives or something, you know. And uh, so that's an amazing feeling. And if you're lucky enough to have that, you know what I'm talking about. So um, it was great. We had a great day. Um, probably going to take a couple of days off. I just got to get some trees cut down around the house and do go and get that stuff over with get it behind us and then we're going to run hard until the end of may until after memorial day and then we're going to take a couple days off uh at the end of may and uh do some things around the house and then we'll probably run hard again for about uh two and a half weeks or so uh until my wife's birthday uh third week in june we're going to take off a few days for that and then we'll probably run hard again. Uh, I don't know, at least through the 4th of July for sure. And maybe, maybe through the 4th. I don't know. I may try to, I'll try to get home most likely for the 4th of July. But I don't know if we'll take, after, after the 4th, I don't know if we'll take any more time off until uh, probably Labor Day, maybe. I'm kind of thinking about doing some things around Labor Day. But anyway, we're here in Mariana now. We're getting unloaded. And, um, I kind of rushed the video yesterday. It was only like four minutes, but uh, I drove exactly 11 hours. It was incredible. I drove from Memphis to Dyersburg, back down to Mariana in exactly 11 hours. When I pulled into my place where I parked the truck and trailer, my thing hit zeros and I just, boom, hit the off-duty button. And then about 45 minutes later, I was at the house. I just got done taking a shower and I get a call from Landstar. Yeah, are you looking for somewhere to park? I'm like, dude, I'm at the house. I'm in the bed. What you talking about? <laughs> We're sure you're still driving and you're over on your time. I'm like, no, sir. I, I, went, I went off duty and I gave him the exact time down to the second. I said, I'm off duty. I said, I don't know. Maybe the thing ain't caught up to me yet or I don't, maybe I, I don't know what happened, but I'm off duty, you know. So they went in and I guess it was lagging or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share all that with y'all. And I'm I'm sorry I ramble a lot. But uh, I just feel like I'm a really blessed and uh, fortunate man to be able to, uh, to have the family I have. And uh, I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. My mother-in-law asked me today, how y'all liking y'all's new jobs? Because me and Teresa both basically got new jobs. I was doing local runs and home every night, and I gave that up to go back over the road with Landstar as an owner-op, and just because I enjoy being my own boss, I enjoy traveling, and don't get me wrong, the money is great, and uh, Teresa got her new job, um, like I said, working, you know, well, not with grant money and stuff like that, but it's, it's, it's complicated, but anyway, she loves her new job. And I love this, but I told her, I said, the one thing I hate right now about this job more than anything is being gone as much as I'm gone. Because we have a huge place. We have like 10 acres. You know, we got a lot of grass to cut, a swimming pool to keep up, and trees to trim back. There's so much stuff that has to be done. 
and uh, it's, it's not one of those things where you can come home two times a month and keep it up you know you need to be home at least every weekend to keep it going so man once I get this first year behind me at Landstar I should be in a sound financially enough bills paid down and off and stuff that we'll be able to run maybe three runs a week and be home every weekend something like that and it'll be a lot better I mean during the winter months spring months when the grass ain't growing stuff like that yeah you could probably run harder and then during the summer months try to get home every weekend to get, keep the house up and the pool up and all that so anyway I'm tired of rambling I'm tired of holding y'all up because y'all were great people and uh, I appreciate y'all watching my channel and uh, and everything and uh, I'm gonna keep doing it I'm having fun making videos i got my sidekick with me the duck man and i got some cool video i'm finna throw here throw in here at the end of the uh the video and uh let you see that and uh when we was leaving the house today the duck man with his head out the window having him a good time so uh he's over here asleep on the floor now so uh anyway i'm glad y'all had a great mother's day i hope you did anyway and uh we'll be back to making videos uh next week and uh, back on the road probably by Tuesday, hopefully. So y'all take it easy. Have a great night. And we will see y'all a little on further down the road. Hey, and don't forget, if you're an owner operator, don't haul no cheap freight. Let's keep them rates up. They're doing great right now. Mm -hmm.